Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the adventures of Nazim al Ashabah. Last time, we received an intriguing letter from the Princess Morgaya of Wayrest. So we're going to head to Wayrest, way over here in the southeast corner of High Rock Province. Go by ship and cautiously ashore. Quite foggy today, my goodness. But here we are. Way rest. This is Nazim's first time visiting here, just as it was his first time visiting Daggerfall before. In fact, that was his first time ever traveling to High Rock Province at all. Most of his life was spent in Hammerfell, but now he is having to acquaint himself more fully with the entire Iliac Bay region. We're going to seek the palace first and foremost. It's probably right there. Climb over this little hedge. Nothing wrong with a little shortcut. What do we have growing here? And we have sunflowers here. Nice. A pleasant place if not quite so pleasant today due to all the mist and fog. And here it is. Surrounded by all these beautiful gardens, almost more like a large manor or mansion rather than a palace or castle as we saw in Daggerfall or Sentinel. Hello there, young child. Well met, stranger. Any news? We'll ask politely. Mm, can't think of any. Okay. And you, ma'am, a battle mage. Oh my. We see Edwaster Buckinghouse, Theodore Wixton, Theodistir Yomwing. Princess Elisana, I believe she is the stepsister of Princess Morgaya. And we are Masterford. Well, while we're here, we might as well see if this princess wants to chat with us. We better save first. Nazim al I have a special task that will be perfect for you. However, I would just be signing your death warrant if I were to give it to you now. When you are more skillful, return to me and I may give it to you then. Okay, that suits me just fine. Well met, stranger. Any news? Since I have nothing nice to say. Very well. We also have Ala Victor Ashhouse, Uthaster Mooring, Victivra Hearthsmith. and more guards. Hello. 
Any news? Mm, can't think of any. Very well. So here we are. And we see before us two very powerful Dunmer Dark Elves. And here's the king, who is now married to this Queen Berenziah. Uh, he is not Morgaya's father, if I remember correctly. He is her stepfather. And I don't remember who it was exactly that, uh, uh, that she was with when she had this child. But uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll speak with these two first, just out of politeness. Queen Berenziah. Yes. Any news? I try not to spread rumors. That's wise. And you, sir, what do you want? Any news? None that I know of. <laughs> okay. Well, nobody here to trust me much. Uh, they probably don't even know me very well at this point. Though Morgaya certainly knows something about me. And apparently knows why I've been sent by the Emperor to this region. You're trying to track down that letter of the Emperor's, yes? There are very few scandals in the bay of which I am totally ignorant. I could give you some information, but nothing is without a price. That I know well. I need a champion who doesn't fear the fire of oblivion. Are you interested? Well, to be honest, Nazin does have a bit of healthy fear toward the fire of oblivion, but he is a very brave man overall, so sure, yes. By the Black Isle, that is a relief to me. Do not ask any questions. Get this letter to a certain high-level sorcerer at the Necromancer's Crypt, Scourge Barrow, in the Dragontail Mountains. Avoid the rift. If you see it, you have gone too far. They will not be expecting you and will not wait for any introductions. The Necromancers feel that death is a reward for the living, not a punishment. Once you have delivered the letter, they would feel no need to guarantee your safety. It is their way. I need the letter delivered in response from the King of Worms in my hand, one month from now, at the absolute latest. The risks are very high, Nazim. Please do not fail. All right. Well, this is indeed quite intriguing. And you have a lovely little pet cat. Good for you. So, let's go ahead and uh, get on our way, shall we? I think for now we won't bother trying to do any shopping or whatnot here in this area. Maybe after we've gotten a bunch of loot from Scourge Barrow. Now, where was it? Is it not in the Kingdom of Wayrest? In the Dragon Tail Mountains. Okay, I missed that detail. All right. So here we have the Dragon Tail Mountains. Scourge Barrow. Yes. Go by ship. Recklessly. Stain of inns along the way. And here it is. An intriguing place, to be sure. Strange architecture. Not quite what I was expecting. Nazim wishes to investigate a little bit further. And practice his climbing skills.
quite a view. A very flat region, despite being part of the Dragon Tail Mountains, but we are presumably at a high altitude. don't seem to see any additional entrances. But here we are, on top of the world. About getting down, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? Okay, if I remember right, the repel mode just requires that I press back. Here we go. Oof, a little bit of damage. Now that we've rested up, we'll go ahead and enter this benighted place. A spider just died. Wow. Let's go ahead and cast Recall. And we will set an anchor. be hearing the moaning of zombies. That's not a good sign. This is truly a dangerous course that Morgaia has set us upon. But uh, if it's what we need to do in order to fulfill the quests we've been assigned by the Emperor, then we'd better just summon all our courage and uh, And plunge in. Oop, that didn't quite work. Let's, oop. <sighs> no, that wasn't too bad. For now, we don't feel a need to light our own torch. Seems to be enough light so far. Oh no. There indeed is a zombie. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, good. They're struggling to get up here. <laughs> Even more than I did. So... Go ahead and see how they like a fireball. Save versus spell main, that's not good. Not good at all. Almost looks like Terminators. Seems appropriate in a way. Reanimating the dead does create things that seem kind of robotic in a way. Uh oh, got a little too close. Boy, not good. Well, 
we can't rest here. We might be able to climb out, maybe not. Nazim does have Ashabah training, but that doesn't change the fact that dealing with such a concentration of undead in a place such as this with some of the most powerful necromancers in all of Tamriel, oof, this is chilling. Nazim is not sure if he's up to this task. This time we'll try this hole. Oh, that did not go as planned. Should have been more careful there. We have some mummies or something here. Oh my. I do not like this. Now, if I cast invisible, will that help? They might still see me, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they do. Holy tone. Oh my. This is not good. What the heck just happened? Did, why did the throne suddenly move in there? Is that a bug? I am not... I'm not sure if that was meant to happen. Okay. So I think going down there is a mistake. We'll try our luck here again. Need to get better at handling this climbing and repelling business. zombies doing. I want to get to where I can just barely reach them, but they struggle to reach me. I think I might be in that position right now. Come on. 
I'll get you eventually. Ooh, boy, that's not good. Got one of you. Nazim can do this, slowly but surely. He'll accomplish his goal. Gotcha. Final. Elven Longsword, not bad. Okay, 3 to 17. Here we go, 4 to 17. Well, we'll take that. And an Iron Tonto, sure. Natural subterranean tunnels. That must have been what attracted the necromancers here in the first place. Ridden with bats. Fine practice for this sword singer's swordsmanship.
Okay, we kick the door down. And here we might have people willing to speak with us. I think we've reached our destination. Excuse me. Well met, stranger. Any news? You might be interested to know that Apothecaries of Akatosh has just allied with Apothecaries of Zen. Okay. Uh, where am I? You are in Scourge Barrow in Dragontail Mountains. Can you tell me anything about the necromancers? I could probably help you with that, but I'm not going to. The Underking? I don't know anything about the Underking. Not that I'd tell you if I did. Fair enough. All right. Well, that's enough to chat. That is Vigden. Over there we have an ancient vampire. An ancient lich. Chlorenta. Kertha. Merlin. Durka. And over there, the King of Worms himself. I hate to interrupt your dancing, but, uh, any news? I never understood why mixtures of Zen and Apothecaries of Tabella were feuding. Well, at least that's over now. And you, ma'am? I don't have time for your type. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nazim Alashava is not your type. That is true. And you, sir? I don't have time for your type. Fair enough. And you, ancient vampire? Or you, ancient lich? What are you up to? <laughs> I think he's trying to fight someone in, in an adjacent room. <clears throat> Me help you? <laughs> okay. Who else do we have here? Wow. This is quite a look. Well met, stranger. Any news? I heard that the Royal Guard and Rothgaria have patched up their differences. Well, that's good, I suppose. Whoa! Take it easy over there, Lich. I assume that's what you are. It's not telling me. There we go. Ancient Lich. Yes. All right. Let's finally have a word with the King of Worms. Very good. If you are not rewarded with death by the loyal servants of the Barrow, give this note to Princess Morgaya, please. Well, let's go ahead and say it right now. And I actually just realized that I wish we would have checked to see if we could read the note that we were given by Morgaya. Okay, so here it is. No, this is the one that she sent to us. Princess, dumb, king of worms. Let's load a recent save. And see. Here it is. So Morgaya wrote, King of Worms, I agree to your terms. I will give you my first, and you will exert your influence on the King of Firsthold on Somerset Isle. Only you can let him speak with his dead son. For that, he would even marry Milfaga. M. So that's what he agreed to. And what she agreed to. Very interesting. Okay. Well, King of Worms, you are not the sort of company that Nazim al usually keeps. 
so he is not feeling very comfortable spending time here. But he's grateful that he's been at least not slain by any of these very powerful beings here. <laughs> Probably best that we move along. But we can't resist the temptation to poke around a little bit more. And who knows, there might be some evildoers whom we could get away with slaying while we're here. Who are you? Silenced, huh? Who do you think you are? Nightblade. I rewarded you with death. here seems suspicious. Check out this passage. A bear, huh? No match for me. Or so I think. There we go. just died.
Another one. Gotcha. Almost over encumbered. Ooh. This is interesting. That's quite a fall. <laughs> Hi there. Skeletons are quite a bit more frightening in this game than they are in, say, Skyrim, aren't they? fallen a little bit. Let's see if we can get away with exploring a little bit down here before we teleport back. Oh my. Where are we? Fascinating place. More than a little unsettling. That's for sure. What on earth? An assassin just died. What on earth am I getting into here? Uh oh. Mummy just died in my school. stuff, huh? Two of them at once. Okay, yeah, we better we better just get out of here. Drop off some stuff into our wagon. Shall we continue exploring more of this dangerous place? She said to avoid the rift, whatever that is. I think it's what we just found. She wants to reply back within a month. Maybe just to be on the safe side, we better head back. We can always come back here to more fully explore it and perhaps clean it out once we're a bit more powerful. You hear a distant unearthly moan, an open grave yawns in your path. 
Yeah, sounds about right for this area. Let's get back to friendlier places. Beautiful day. Much happier surroundings compared to where we just were. My goodness. Excuse me, sir. Good to see you, Nazim. How can I help you? Any news? Totambu paid a large peace fee to fighter equippers. Hopefully that will stop their quarreling. to the palace, we might as well check out a couple of stores, just real quick. The Champion General Store. Uh, sound and functional, but a little more than that, that's nice. Good place for selling, and possibly buying too. Might as well get a horse, we have enough spare gold. The real Baron Zaya. One of these days, Nazim is going to study up on more of the history of that interesting queen. Bargain down to 826 gold. Fair enough. about here. Silver katana, interesting. Oh, that reminds me. You can douse this torch. And let's sell a few things. Oh. It, uh... Must all be in the wagon. Oops. Five hundred ninety two gold, not bad. I've always thought the distinction between horse and cart was a little bit silly in this game, because when you use a cart, well, you clearly have a horse already, but when you have a horse, just the horse, then you go faster. So, a little bit silly, because obviously you're still pulling the cart either way. You know, but what can you do? <laughs> sometimes, uh, sometimes this game has good realism, other times not quite so much, but whatever. It is what it is. And what do we have here? Vintage used supplies. Adequate construction, okay.
Love and Gold. As you can see here, we're now back to normal windows. I decided to uninstall the transparent windows mod after it had caused so many problems. You know, it's a very impressive mod, of course, but uh, it does occasionally cause incompatibilities with other mods and can cause some buggy issues here and there, so I just decided, okay, I've had enough of that. Speaking of which, I should probably explain a little more fully why... why I'm not using so many mods in general, and, uh, you know, like I, I've still never used the World of Daggerfall mod, and I had mentioned last time that I had ceased using the uh, Fixed Desert Architecture mod. Now listen, all of these mods are very cool, but the reason why I want to stick with a largely vanilla experience is simply because um, this is a game which I've never beaten before. You know, I've never made it much farther than this point in the main quest before, so I want to kind of have a somewhat pure experience playing through it all the way this time. And after that, I will of course feel free to install more mods that more radically change the game. retail store. Okay. Any news? I never understood why Mixers of Zen and Apothecaries of Debella were feuding. But at least that's over. Yeah, that's good. Take care. And north we go. Hello, pigs. This is much faster than the cart. I'm glad I bought this. Nice flowers here and there. This is a pleasant place. It says only castle staff and trusted guests are allowed beyond those doors. Okay. Well, here I am. Princess Morgaya, I have some interesting news for you. It's done. I'll be queen of first hold, although I'm sure the engagement will be quite lengthy. Now, I promised you information about the Emperor's letter. The letter you seek is in the hands of Gortwog, the warlord of the orcs. He bought it from the Thieves' Guild of Daggerfall after one of their members stole it from Queen Abaki. I confess I don't know why the Emperor sent it to Abaki. The girl is innocent to a fault, and everyone knows that Gothrid is not the loyal empire toady that Lysandus was. 
Of course, my own family, well, enough of this boring court gossip. If you really want to find this letter, you should get in good with Minasera, the former queen of Daggerfall, and queen mother to Gothrid. I wouldn't directly approach her. Start with someone of lower station. Okay. And she's given us a wand for some reason. All right. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, have you anything else to say? I guess not for now. How about you? Sir Miao of the court of Morgaya. <laughs> or, sorry, the court of Baron Zaya and uh, whatever his name is. Let's save again. I was wondering if you might do me a small favor. You see, I have a friend who requires a certain shipment of a certain substance brought by a certain time. I trust I'm making myself clear. Are you available for such an assignment? Given a payment of, say, 263 gold pieces? Nazim al Ashaba is a little bit tempted to endear himself to Queen Baron Zaya, but at the same time also feels a certain repulsion toward her. So he is going to decline. Well, I'm certainly disappointed. I would have expected more enthusiasm. Ah well, it's these times that breed sloth and indolence, I suppose. And you, King, what have you to say? Yes? Any news? Oh shoot. Better be speaking more politely here. Glenumbra Moors paid a large peace fee to Sibiades. Hopefully that will stop their quarreling. Do you know much about the Mages Guild? Sorry, Nazim, I can't help with that. How about, uh, the Order of Arche? Uh, it doesn't sound familiar. <laughs> okay. Well, I think he just doesn't want to chat with us much. Fair enough. Goodbye. So I think that will do it for today's adventuring. This has certainly been eventful. And uh, if you've enjoyed this video at all, please do give it a like, subscribe to see more, and consider supporting my video production and indie game development by going to patreon.com slash the drake. Any help you can offer is very much appreciated. And please do leave comments down below about what you think about this game and the adventures of Nazim al Ashaba as well as the adventures that you have had within this game or other similar RPGs. And uh, yeah, I would very much like to hear from you. So uh, please feel free to tell me anything you want. And take excellent care of yourself and everyone around you. I will see you next time.